Namaskar and hello everyone. It is I, Mushba. I am back with another video. This is going to be a very quick video because I just got home from university, as you can tell from my tired face. And it's going to be about my happiness journal, or happiness notebook actually. So this is my happiness notebook. This is the first one. And this is the one that I am currently on. And so basically I'm just going to explain what my happiness notebook is, maybe flip through some of it. Most of it is personal, so yeah. So this is my first happiness notebook. And basically the idea behind this when I started using this notebook was to write anything and everything in it. Because I'm into writing but I wasn't let me see if I'm in the middle. Yeah, I wasn't writing that much and I just wanted to get into writing again, so this little notebook with its little size of something like anything that comes to mind, I'll write in it. But when I started writing, I realized that I get sad and depressed a lot, so I kind of made a rule for myself that everything I write in this will be happy in some way. Like it will be something that really is happy, that makes me happy, or that contributes to my life in a positive way. So, for example, this has everything from things people say that I want to remember, to reasons why I love sunflowers, to my favorite bands, to bands I want to listen to more, to quotes, to songs, to random little pieces of creative writing, to memories that I want to keep. And I just found that this was a really effective way for me to just um, be like happy because when I would go through these pages whenever I was sad or depressed it really did work in making me feel better and so I, I basically decided to continue this practice and it was just something that I I started to look forward to I'm just going to show you some of my my spreads or whatever you want to call it okay um, so yeah so that's that's kind of pretty much all there is to it. So this first journal or first happiness notebook, I just call it a happiness notebook. Um, some of the things that came out of it, so it has anything and everything as I said. Let me show you. So it has my list of hashtags. It has things I want to type, ideas. Uh, again, everything is, is something that contributes to me in a positive way. And some of the things that came out of this, which I do regularly now, are things I want to remember sections. So I, I dedicate a page to things I want to remember. Memories like, you know, maybe someone gave me a compliment, or maybe someone did something that I that really cheered me up. Um, so I write like after every few pages I have that. I also have letters to myself. So like this is a memory. And someone gave me candy. Um, you have quotes some washi swatches. Um, where are my letters to myself? Wait. So yeah, like things I want to remember. So this was part five. I have like one page or two pages of this and then stuff like that. Maybe I go, yeah. So like this, this is a letter to myself. So things I want to remember and letters to myself were two things which became really productive. Because letters to myself were what I wrote whenever something was bothering me. So the first letter to myself I wrote was when I was feeling lonely. And I'm sorry if my voice is deviating. I'm not sure how well you can hear this. I hope you can hear me well enough. So yeah, the first letter I wrote to myself was when I was feeling lonely because for whatever reasons. So I just wrote to myself, hey, chin up, come on. We did some, some like pep talks, we did just personal talks. And when I would read these letters over, they really did help. And things I want to remember also really helped to remind me that I have a lot of good people around me. I just need to, you know, focus on that. So this, this was like a good experience, a good notebook. Then I moved on to this. This notebook was actually a notebook I used for taking notes for a course, but I didn't take a lot of notes. And I love this brand Dalmatian. I have good memories with this, so I decided to cut out those notes with a cutter, just a scale or a ruler and a cutter, you can see here. Um, and yeah, so this is volume two. 
with this one I changed things up because I realized I was very unorganized. So before my spring semester I made a list of things to do, which I obviously did not manage to do. I did some of those things and some of those things I'm still working on. Um, so I basically what I did with this new notebook was I incorporated some bullet journal elements. So this first one, as you can tell, was not a bullet journal. This was more like an art journal. You know, anything and everything can go in this list, art, clothes, anything and all, um, as long as it's something that makes me happy or contributes to me in a positive way. This became like something that initially I decided to experiment with this, please one sec, um, as like a bullet journal, so I would do these daily logs and everything. And then I realized that's too much. So like here I have a list of music that I love. That's just too much. I even have these monthly things, so like these monthly list layouts. And then I have, there is it, a habit tracker. So basically it was a lot of experimentation. The second notebook has been a lot of experimentation. And so far what I've decided is that I'm going to go back to this um, layout, which is basically no list or anything. I and mean, list in the sense, no, no planner stuff. It's just, you know, good stuff. Like, there's no, I've never been much of a planner person. I'm trying to be. So, like, not right now, I do have a layout, like, for February, and I have my habit tracker for February, which is obviously very messy. Um, but I'm, like, I, I'm for this, because there are a few pages left of this, like, they're just, a little bit of few pages, yeah, I'd like say about 30, what is it, 20, 20 pages, less than 20. So I'm gonna do the monthly layouts and uh, list layout and habit tracker, but basically with this notebook, um, I did some experimenting and I've kind of, you know, because it was a bigger notebook, I'll show you some pages. So because it's a bigger notebook, I've done more scrapbooking with this. I need to show you, so I like, again, a washi swatch. Um, I'll show you a nice and washy swatch. I haven't been able to write letters to myself that much. This is too personal. There's this. Because, you know, I love stationery. Stationery makes me happy. So, yeah. Basically, it was to give you an idea. So, my idea with the happiness notebook is you write everything that makes you happy in it. So, I have things I want to remember. There's this special edition. I have stationery in here. I have a lot of scrapbooking in here. So more scrapbooking, that was nice because I couldn't do that with this one. This one's too small for that. So I was, it was nice that I'm able to do like scrapbooking with it. And that's something I'm going to keep doing. But otherwise, I don't know if I will carry on the planning stuff to my um, next happiness notebook because this has less than 20 pages left. So I'm still deciding. But that was just to give you an idea of what I do. This is not some like strict thing. You can do whatever you want. I just wanted to share what I do. It's not a bullet journal. I'm not into bullet journaling because as I said, I'm not much of a planner person. I'm trying to organize my life and become more planned, obviously. like um, I know people prefer bullet journals because they're very flexible. If you're wondering what a bullet journal is, I'm sorry. I haven't mentioned it. Um, so it's this um, system where you just keep a journal, which is pretty much everything. It's your regular journal. And it's basically a planning system. So you have lists, monthly layouts, weekly layouts, daily lists, to-do lists. That's, that's what it is. It's a way to help you organize your life. And it's very customizable. I don't do it because, I don't know, it just feels like a lot of work. Um, but yeah, I, I have my happiness notebook. And one thing that my happiness notebook really helped me do, if you're still watching this video, is that, so when I said I'm not gonna care, um, when I started this, I said I'm not going to care about, you know, great handwriting or anything. I'm just going to write whatever I feel like and draw whatever I feel like, and I'm going to be happy with that. I'm not going to, like, worry about um, how it looks or if it looks great, which has really helped me because when I did this, for example, it's really helped me to kind of practice and not be afraid. When you see all these buju layouts that are impeccable, you get very afraid, like, um, you know, you're, you're afraid that your handwriting is so ugly or something. You don't even write. You don't even practice. This, this notebook has been very productive for me in many respects. It keeps me happy. I still go through this. I have it on my desk. Whenever I feel sad, I just go through this. It's got so many memories in it. 
Um, so yeah, I highly encourage this. I guess you could call it like a gratitude journal, but it's just got more variety. Like you can add stuff that you like, ideas that you have. Again, this is just what I do. You don't have to do it. It's just up to you. Um, I will do like a proper flip through of these someday, but for now, this is all that I have. Okay, so my phone ran out of memory there. I'm sorry for the random cut, but that was it. So yeah, sorry. Um, thank you for watching if you watched that much. I'm so sorry it was so long. I hope it helped in some way. I'm so sorry for the mess in my room and for everything, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe if you want. You have the choice to not do that. If you don't do that, that's fine too. Have a good day and good luck with your life. <laughs>